Hey y'all, Irix guy here, and these are a few things to do at home. And I know it may seem kind of bad to be cooped up and to be unable to go out and uh, socialize with others, but it's one of those things. It's important with a virus uh, that is so easy to, uh, to spread. It's important to self-quarantine and stay away from others. So how do you keep your sanity while at home? Well, you know, one thing to do is do a lot of work stuff. You know, whatever your job may be or your jobs may be, work as much as you can because work is a productive way to pass time and to stay mentally uh, occupied. You know, you're, you're thinking about those tasks versus all of the, all of the uh, nonsense that the media are spreading. So that's, that's a positive. Uh, obviously, you don't want to have guests because they're coming and going. You don't want that. You want to be, you want to remain quarantined avoid contact with anyone else, um, and just, you know, anything you can do, you know, you can watch a popular uh, TV show. Uh, maybe you haven't watched TV in a while. You know, it's a great way to, to catch up and, and stream some movies and stream some, uh, stream some uh, miniseries. I know I've enjoyed uh, watching the latest season of Narcos. Uh, that's on Netflix, and there's also a show on... Uh, on Amazon, it's entitled uh, Zero Zero Zero, and it's it's been a really good show. So I've I've had uh, had a lot of fun with that. Uh, obviously, operating Irix Guys Adventure Channel, I've been super busy. Uh, you know, thinking of of content that I can create again, because it, because there has been the travel ban for Irix Guys Adventure Channel uh, going out to those to those environments and capturing the new footage which was definitely my goal for 2020. Unless this stuff clears up, that's, that's not gonna happen for a while. So what I've gotta do is work with what I've got. And what I've got is my, is my studio, you know, where I'm quarantined. So I'm not making anyone else sick. And, and I don't wanna say I had the coronavirus, but I've been, <clears throat> I've had a very scratchy throat. I've had uh, severe, and I just touched my face, but I've been in quarantine for several days, so hopefully I didn't just give myself coronavirus if I didn't already have it. But yeah, I've had a runny nose, fever, uh, has not been fun, but you know, again, self-quarantine, you know, just finding things that you can do to keep your sanity. Uh, if it is good weather and, and you do go outside, avoid everyone. You know, if you're in a public place, you see someone coming, get away. You know, you don't want to be near anybody. And, you know, likewise, if you're out in a public place and there's, uh, say, for example, there's uh, playground equipment or something like that, you know, don't, don't touch that stuff because other people have touched it. You know, if, if there's a restroom in a public place where you may be going for a walk, don't go in there because other people have touched it. You know, my, my advice and, and what I'm going to do, if I can, uh, once I get over this enough, to be able to go out and, and actually get some uh, fresh air outside. I'm just gonna limit all of my exercise to isolated locations. And when I go to these locations, if I see other people, I'm just gonna turn around and go somewhere else. And that'll be the extent of me getting out. Now, the reason I don't wanna get out much because if I get out a lot, then I've gotta buy more gas. And if I have to buy more gas, I've gotta touch the gas pump. And I don't want to have to do that. I just want to keep, I want to keep the vehicle full and, uh, you know, avoid any sort of social interaction or any sort of, I mean, any, touching anything. I don't want to touch anything. So, you know, staying at home and keeping your sanity is important. And again, you know, best thing to do is just work, work, work. Keep your mind busy. Make that money. Um, other than that, you can... Uh, you know, you can watch popular stream shows. I don't use traditional television anymore, but I'll stream those shows I just talked about. Uh, family is gone because of my possible COVID-19. Uh, so I am, <laughs> am self-quarantined. I mean, by myself. So there's, there's nobody else uh, that's going to get this if that's, if that's what I've got. So, you know, just keeping your sanity, obviously... Uh, being mindful of how much you consume, you know, number one, you don't want to eat a bunch of junk and, and get fat while you're, you know, while you're at home. 
see, I, I can't go to the gym because the gym's not an option. There's people there. So, you know, I'm stuck with, I'm stuck with what I've got. I've got a treadmill if it's raining out, and then I've got the outdoors if, if I want to go outside and, you know, go for a walk, but I don't have any strength training equipment. So I'm, you know, that's, that's irritating, but again, it's a, uh, a small sacrifice. I mean, in the scheme of things here, you know, we're, we've got to stay quarantined to make this go away. If people keep coming and going, it's never going to go away. So, you know, why prolong the pain? So it's, uh, but yeah, just, you know, being at home, keeping, uh, keeping one sanity while at home for a long time, you know, you can, you can clean your, your residence. The, the problem with that is that when you're cleaning, you're using cleaning supplies and, and, you know, unless you stocked up on cleaning supplies, you're probably like, oh man, I need to, I need to be very conservative about how much I use. So that's, you know, normally that would be a, a recommendation I would make for someone that's going to be at home, you know, clean your home, make it spotless, make yourself feel good. You know, inevitably a clean environment, uh, boost one's morale. <laughs> but in this scenario, with the shortage of cleaning supplies, it could, it could have the, uh, the opposite effect. So I'm not going to recommend cleaning. Uh, cooking is a good thing, but something I would do with cooking, and, and I was one of the ones that was fortunate enough to, to stock up for at least a few months. Now, you know, maybe that's not enough, but at least a few months, I should be uh, fine as far as food's concerned, you know, canned goods in case the power goes out, uh, frozen goods, as long as I've got electricity, you know, I'll keep that frozen and be able to eat that. But, you know, get creative with your, uh, with your cooking. You know, I've got a, I've got a basic set of ingredients. I've got, I've got chicken, I've got fish, it's frozen, of course, both of those. And then I've got some meats. I did get some, uh, some ground turkey so I can make some pastas. I've got, uh, I've got some steaks. Now, the steaks, I froze them, and I'm treating the steaks as luxury items because those are the types of things, you know, with this, with this pandemic that, that aren't going to be plentiful. And even, even if they were, you, you would have to be a fool to go out and buy more because you're exposing yourself to COVID-19 just for the possibility of, of purchasing a very tasty steak. And it's just the risk reward there does not exist for me. I want to stay confined. I want to stay quarantined. So, you know, with that being the case, it, it makes, uh, you know, a fun activity is getting creative with your, with your preparations for meals. You know, in the past, maybe you had a really big meal and you typically consumed it then or maybe had some leftovers for breakfast. I think now it's a matter of looking at, you know, going in and auditing, inventorying rather, all the ingredients that you have in your pantry, all the ingredients you have in your freezer. And, uh, and then evaluating, okay, well, you know, using these ingredients, I could make this, this, and that. And, you know, how could I better extend the, uh, the supply? So, you know, getting creative with, so for example, with fish, I've got these little frozen uh, fish tenders that I, that I do. And I do those in the air fryer. So, you know, with those, you know, what can I fix with them? Well, I've got, uh, I've got canned uh, vegetables. I've got frozen vegetables. Inevitably, I'm going to use the frozen vegetables first. And then that way, if we lose electricity, you know, I've got the canned ve vegetables as a plan B. So I'm trying to, as I, as I prepare my meals, I'm trying to minimize the amount that I use for each meal so that I don't have to resupply, but I'm also trying to use my frozen goods first. So, you know, and, and then that way I've got, you know, the cans, the canned goods is a few weeks of a, of a fallback plan if, if things really hit the fan. So, you know, assume worst case scenario, don't freak yourself out because there's some people that are quarantined at home and they're just panicking. You know, use this as an opportunity to, to better, um, you know, to inventory your resources, to establish a meal plan so that you can prolong, uh, you know, how long uh, you will be able to eat without having to resupply. You know, and that's important. I mean, you know, cut out the snacks. I mean, I know it was great to have snacks and, you know, watch TV and 
I've never been a big snacker anyway, but a healthy snack, you know, like pickles and stuff. They were sold out of pickles, man. I, that's one thing I was irritated about. I don't have any pickles, and I wanted to have a big jar of pickles to enjoy, and they were out. So, you know, be be uh, be mindful, you know, be aware of what you have, and, you know, and don't overindulge, because, you know, worst case, you may be needing to eat that stuff for many months. So it's, uh, you know, that, that's, a, that's a good... That's a good activity to to keep yourself busy, you know, inventorying and and meal planning. That's that's another uh, and it, it provides value. You know, it's not just a time. It's not just wasting time, but it's providing value as well. So um, that's something you can do. Also, uh, if you are if if you do want to be better prepared in case something catastrophic happens, you know, maybe. Maybe the power grid shuts down. Maybe water shuts down. Uh, maybe looting and violence becomes prevalent. You know, in that scenario, what would be what would be your bug out plan? Hypothetically, you wake up tomorrow and there's chaos. Everybody's fighting everybody, and everybody's breaking into people's homes. You know, what would you do? Would you stay there and fight, or would you just already have a bug out plan and a bug out bag? and go to a peaceful place and isolate yourself even more. So, you know, that, that's, that's something if, if you are of the bug out mentality, you know, this, this is a good time while you're sitting at home. Uh, this is a good time to, to brainstorm and prepare that bug out bag, you know, just a, a good backpack. I do a lot of backpacking. I've got plenty of room in that backpack where I could take uh, the gear, the, you know, the gear that I need to survive. And obviously, you know, I'd live off the land. I'd be able to purify my water and I'd be able to hunt and gather. So, you know, I'd, I'd be able to do that and, and be remote enough to where hopefully I would avoid all the violence and stuff. Because that's, that's not in my, that's not something I'm looking forward to. When and if the violence does occur, you know, I don't want to be the one uh, going out and fighting everybody. Because, you know, you can't, you can't fight everybody. And, and I don't want to do that anyway. I'd rather just go out and relax and, and ride out the storm in, in a bug out location. So, you know, that's something else you may want to do. If you play video games, you can do that. Uh, I've, I abandoned video games many years ago. Uh, the reason being is that playing video games provided no financial value. You know, I was spending all that time. It was fun. You know, it, it allowed you to uh, improve your hand-eye coordination and it, uh, it was a way to relax but it didn't provide any sort of financial benefit. And that's why I like YouTube. You know, the, for me, when I'm at home, you know, something I can do is film YouTube videos because it helps me to relax. It helps me to make money. And again, oh, by the way, feel free to support my channel. The links within this video's description is just uh, patreon.com forward slash iRickSky. Again, completely optional, but one of the ways you can support my channel. Also, like this video, share this video, subscribe to my channel. You know, it's my goal and something I enjoy is, is marching towards that goal. And my, my short-term goal is 100,000 subscribers. And my short-term goal is 100 million video views. So I'm marching forward to those, to those next uh, many milestones. And, you know, again, that, those are just small milestones. But I want to, uh, you know, I want to have, continue to have something to work towards. And, and that's important, you know, to have goals and be able to achieve those goals. So, you know, whatever, whatever excites you, maybe you're, maybe you're into the stock market. You know, this could be a great time. You know, this could be, and again, it hasn't, <laughs> it hasn't dipped as much as I think it's going to dip, but this could be a great time to challenge yourself to learn more about stocks because the stock market is, you know, when things take a beating, uh, there's, there's bargains to be had. And, you know, it's, 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 you know, I, and I won't quote numbers, but I mean, I'm, I've incurred significant unrealized losses in the stock market. Unrealized meaning that if I, if I exited a position, I would lose a substantial amount of money. But unrealized meaning that if it rebounds and I don't exit until it rebounds, hypothetically, I could break even or maybe even make some money. Can't predict, you know, what a, what a stock's going to do. There's no way to do it. But it's safe to assume that because of all of the, all the panic, that 
uh, financial markets will likely continue to decline. You know, and like the people always say, buy low and sell high. So, you know, if you've got cash and, and you've got the, the luxury of, uh, of speculating with some stocks, this could be a fun time to do that. So, I mean, that's, that's another activity that people may enjoy. And most of my activities are, are, uh, are business linked. And, and that's just how I am. You know, I'm, I'm a capitalist, you know, I like to, I like to make money, find creative ways to make money. So, uh, with that being said, you know, you may not care about finances. You may be more, uh, into the entertainment aspects and that's fine too, you know, but I'm a planner and I'm a business person. I do have a treadmill indoors. I can do my, my treadmill workouts, but I can't do my free weight. So I'm going to start to lose some of this muscle mass and that makes me mad. But, you know, that's a small sacrifice for staying well and staying away from the crowds. So I don't know. I mean, what are y'all doing to, to keep your sanity while you're, while you're quarantined? Comment within the comment section below and tell others what you think. Oh, and be sure to subscribe and ring that bell icon when you do to be notified whenever I post another video. Thanks for your viewership and y'all have a good day. Hey y'all, Captain Irix Guy here. I hope y'all enjoyed this video. If you did, please be sure to subscribe. It's youtube.com forward slash Irix Guy. And ring that bell icon when you do to be notified whenever I post another video. Thanks for your viewership and y'all have a good day.